Hello, welcome to the Tiny Ballistics Lab. In this episode, we're going to be looking at a very important safety device. Whoa, that was a close call. I'm glad I was wearing these. As I was saying, today we're going to be doing a high velocity impact review of one of the most important safety devices you could own, safety glasses. How much is it worth to you to protect your vision? $20, $30, $19 trillion? Well, actually, I went on to Amazon and found several impact rated safety glasses for under $3. You're probably thinking, is a cheap pair of safety glasses really going to protect my eyes from high velocity impact? Well, that's the very thing we'll be testing today. So stay tuned. In addition to these glasses being priced under $3, they all have something else in common that I stumbled upon by accident. They're all certified by the American National Standards Institute as being resistant to high velocity impact and they're given a rating of ANSI Z87+, which is found on the lenses of each pair. In their velocity certification process, they hit the glasses being tested with a 6.35 mm steel ball at 150 feet per second, or a little over 100 miles an hour. Quite honestly, that doesn't seem like a very high velocity to me, so we're going to fire our projectile at around a thousand feet per second, or in other terms, much faster than a jet airliner. What are we going to put our glasses on when we test them? Well, naturally, we're going to buy a styrofoam mannequin head and insert our custom ballistic eyeball. This is how I made the mannequin head, complete with the ballistic test eyeball we'll be using. Now that our mannequin head and ballistic test eyeball is complete, now let's choose our projectile. In the certification process, ANSI uses a steel ball that weighs 16.14 grains. So we'll start our test with a 16 grain H&M Rabbit Magnum 177 caliber air gun pellet, which is basically a copper plated bullet, which will be traveling at 600 feet per second. Will these cheapo glasses withstand the tiny ballistic lab torture test? Let's get right over to the glass box, which now has a creepy head in it, and find out.
Amazingly, the lead slug failed to penetrate any of our sub $3 glasses. Let's try a projectile this time that's faster and harder. We'll be doing another round of tests with the Crossman Gold Flight 177 air gun color, which has a much harder ballistic tip and will be traveling around 700 miles an hour. Well, that did it all right. The much harder and faster Crossman Gold Flight went right through the glasses and caused a lot of trauma to the eye. You can see here, the plastic part of the projectile, called the sabot, got stuck in the glasses. I can't even remove it with my fingers. While the ballistic metal tip went clean through and into the eye. What's that? You're wondering what would happen with no glasses at all? Let's find out. Well, this test has been very interesting. I'm quite surprised how much abuse these inexpensive glasses took. Now there is another military level certification that requires it to withstand much higher velocities than the Z87 Plus we tested today. However, these glasses are much more expensive. Here are some close-up shots of the projectiles we used in today's test. Considering that you can get a very effective pair of safety glasses for under $3, there's really no excuse for leaving your precious eyes exposed to danger. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll bring you more.